Here are some of the most notable artists that made a looper a staple on their pedal board. First up is Tim Reynolds from the Dave Matthews Band. Being the prominent guitarist for the Dave Matthews Band, the mind behind TR3, and a solo talent, Reynolds possesses outstanding skills that command attention. However, the real magic unfolds when he ventures deep into the world of effects, while using his looper pedal with his acoustic guitar to craft and manage loops. Reynolds' signature technique involves a volume pedal, overlaying melodic violin-like sounds over rhythmic guitar loops. Next up is Robert Fripp from King Crimson. Fripp utilized a unique setup with analog tape reels placed adjacent to another. What was recorded on one reel was transferred to the next and sent back, producing a delay effect where fresh guitar layers could be incorporated. This innovative approach could be viewed as the pioneering step in live guitar looping. Third is Ed O'Brien from Radiohead. During Radiohead's Kid A recording sessions, O'Brien felt the need for a new element on his pedal board, where he could tweak his continuous tone. With this setup, O'Brien transformed his guitar sounds, making it sound like a complementary synth to harmonize with Johnny Greenwood. So who's your favorite looping artist? Leave a comment down below.